Hi, it's Mr. Anderson. Today I'm going to show you how to do the photosynthesis lab. Uh, it's a really fun lab, but it can be a little frustrating if you can't get your leaf chads to sink. And so what you're going to need is uh, a little bit of distilled water. So I use 100 milliliters of distilled water. I need a carbon dioxide source, and so we'll use baking soda. And so what you should start with is one gram of baking soda dissolved in 100 milliliters of water. Um, next we need a leaf and so I use these baby spinach. It's organic spinach that I just buy at a, at a nearby grocery store. You'll also need a hole punch and then you'll need a syringe. And so take the needle out or it's not going to work real well. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is you want to get your leaves. And so to get your leaves you're going to use your hole punch and you're going to punch them out of the leaf. So you want to try to get ones that are between the veins. And you can punch a whole bunch of these out. I'm just going to do a few. So in one beaker, you could put 20 leaf chads inside there. Um, next thing you're going to do, let me show, show you this. If I were to take one of these leaf chads and throw it in water, it's going to float. So this is our carbon dioxide water. And the reason it's going to float is that there are little air pockets within the leaf. And those make it buoyant. Um, and so what we want to do in this lab to get started is we want to sink the chads. And so to do that, you're going to take your chads and you're going to put them in the syringe. So I took the stopper out. We're going to load our chads in the bottom like that. And then we're going to push that excess air out and push the leaves to the bottom. Now we're going to grab some of this carbon dioxide water. We're going to suck that out like this. And uh, we want to get rid of all the air at the top. So I'm getting rid of all the air like that. And so in here, it's, uh, the leaves are still floating. So you can see that they're at the top of the syringe. And so our goal is to get them to sink. And so what we have to do is we have to pull all of that air out of the leaves and then replace it with water. And so I'm going to get rid of a little water. So to do that, we create a vacuum. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold my thumb over the top. And then I'm going to pull on the bottom. And as I do that, I want to shake the leaves a little bit, and that's going to keep them in the liquid. So what I'm doing is I'm pulling that air out of the leaves. Uh, and now I'm going to push up, keeping my thumb on it. And if I do a good job, the leaves are going to start to sink. And so uh, you can see right now that the leaves are starting to sink to the bottom. And so now what I've done is I've taken that air out and then I've replaced it with water. Okay, so now I want to put this in my test uh, beaker. And so to do that, I'm going to pull it out the bottom. And they're going to sink down to the bottom. Now I could cover this up and keep it in the dark and I could get a bunch of these ready to do a number of trials. But I'm just doing this as a demonstration. And so the next thing I'll do is I'll put light over the top of it. Now the one thing I should talk about, you can see there's one leaf chad that still is floating at the top, is that if I just shine a light like this, it's going to get really, really hot in there. And so uh, that'll heat up the water and that's going to screw up my experiment, whatever my experiment might be. So you should also put this over the top. So I'm going to put this over the top and put a little bit of just regular water in that. And so what this will do on the top is it's going to act as a heat sink. And so it's going to absorb the heat of the light. And so it's just the light that's actually making its way through. So I'm going to start it like that. And so things that you could study, you could study, for example, how the concentration of baking soda or concentration of carbon dioxide affects the light. You could look at the color of the light. Um, you could look at uh, different temperature of the water inside there, and you can see how, how all of those things affect uh, the rate of photosynthesis. And so what's going to happen next? Well, uh, let me put my phone up, and I'm going to start videoing it. And so let me, uh, let me start the video. And there we go. And we'll watch the leaf chads. Okay. So what's going to happen next is that the uh, light is going to start to provide energy into the thylakoid membrane of the light reaction. Uh, it's then going to start to split the water and that's going to create little bubbles of oxygen. Those bubbles of oxygen are going to make the leaf chads uh, more buoyant and eventually they're going to float to the top. 
And so what we're doing is we're measuring the rate of photosynthesis. You could imagine if I had more amounts of light, that's going to speed up the rate of photosynthesis. And so I'll probably have to speed up the video. It takes a few minutes, sometimes four or five minutes, depending on how far the light is away. Um, but I'll speed it up and you can check out the leaf chads floating.